The moment the Twin Towers were hit, a wave of fear went through people living and working in skyscrapers. The question, could it happen here? Adrina Biga shows us how high-rise security has tightened post 9-11. To better prepare for any future attacks, security consultants like Laura's Friedenfelds analyze the security and emergency response on 9-11. We learned that there were some superhero security directors, emergency managers. Their people knew how to get out of the building in a quick manner because they drilled and exercised before that. Friedenfeld spent most of the last decade running security and emergency management at Rush University Medical Center, now working at Telgen, which develops fire emergency and life safety systems and anti-terrorism solutions. So after 9-11, what are some of the biggest changes when it comes to security procedures and emergency planning? public law enforcement and private security need to share resources. Since 9-11, Chicago now requires high rises to have an emergency evacuation plan on file with the city and the tallest buildings must give the fire department their floor plans so emergency responders know what they're walking into. So we can know who's the engineer, who's uh, in charge of security. Um, if there's layouts that are associated with your building, you can upload it into our, our, our FIM system. Rich Guidus runs Chicago's Office of Emergency Management and Communications, or OEMC. After 9-11, OEMC became Chicago's liaison with the Department of Homeland Security, tasked with securing the nation from threats. We have about 33,000 cameras that are tied into the uh, OEMC City of Chicago camera network. Cameras at public and private buildings in the city are tapped into that network. For a lot of our clients, uh, we've, we recommend highly that they do that. William Seiko specializes in security risk pre and post 9-11. The better the, the police and fire who are responding to a problem in a building can, can understand the condition of that environment. The better that they're aware of what's going on, the better they can be prepared to actually deal with and save lives as they, as they enter the facility.